Hello there, morons. It's Victor. Give me a flake, man. King of the morons here with a J news made for morons like myself who are learning Japanese, and I hope you will learn something from this. But it's a new story, and this was uh, this is a by request video uh, done on the fly, requested by Hikipedia, one of my loyal subscribers, and she's visiting from Canada now. I'm ho I hope you're having a great time, Emily, in uh, Japan. I hope it's okay that I say your first name. Oh my God! Give me a break, man. Okay, so this story is about a, a Japanese, uh, really bizarre story, and this has happened, uh, I think there was a really infamous case in America a few years ago, or maybe just last year, two years ago. Anyway, a 23-year-old man, young man, just graduated from university. Everyone said he was a normal guy, and it was uh, thought that he was living with a girl. Turns out this girl is a woman that he kidnapped, abducted. Two years ago, when, at the age of 13, the girl uh, was going through a divorce and he was pretending to be a lawyer. He, act, he said, oh, I'm a lawyer. I'm, I'm working with your parents, you know, on, on your divorce, on their divorce. And uh, he, he somehow got her into a car and abducted her. And he's been holding her captive for two years. And the other day he like leaves the door unlocked and uh, she gets out and she escapes. So good for her. That's great. And she's now being uh, held in protective custody by the police. So the guy, uh, he finds out that he, he's been, you know, he's, in, he's been caught, basically. He finds out that she's escaped, so he, uh, he tries to commit suicide, and there's reports that he's walking around, um, I think it was Shizuoka, covered in blood. Okay, so that's basically the story. It's pretty screwed up. What I want to point out about Japanese um, culture a little bit, of course, as an observer from the outside, uh, I noticed that they don't mention in the news uh, some of the lurid details. Of course, if she was held in his room for two years, uh, you you won't, you don't want to imagine the worst. But of course, uh, we can only assume that the same thing happened to her that that happened in the states when when a woman was held captive for many many years, and uh, she was abused uh, obviously. Uh, but when I ask students about this, like was she abused, and everyone says, well, we don't ask that, and the newspapers don't report it. Uh, maybe someone is reporting it somewhere, but it's not mainstream stuff. I'm, I mean, I'm sure, you know, someone obviously knows and it's probably getting out. Well, another th funny thing about Japanese news is sometimes stuff leaks out over the internet. I remember quite a few years ago when a boy, uh, there's a really horrible case of a boy chopping off a, a another boy's head in, uh, I think it was Kobe, uh, about, about my, must be like 20 years ago or so. And of course, because he's underage, he was 14, you're not supposed to reveal his name, but... Of course, the internet revealed his age. I think actually, I think it was it actually came on the internet first, and then a magazine revealed it. Of, of, again, the details are a little a bit murky, but the point is the information came out. So that's what happens. Now, uh, for those of you studying Japanese, I have a few words I've prepared for you. Yuku e fume, yuku e fume, yuku e fume ni naru is to go missing, to go missing. So that's something you hear a lot in Japan. And actually, a really weird thing about Japan is. Thousands of people, two about. I think I think I read once that like two thousand people a year go missing, and of course a lot of it is just people running away from their responsibilities. Took a right turn and I just kept going. See if you can if you know that song. You're my generation. Okay, uh, that's to go. Oh, I, I wrote it twice. <laughs> okay, so that's the first thing. The other one is I want to give you a distinction between two words that in English seem very similar, but in Japanese are different. Yukai suru, or in this case, I should, I should say yukai sareru, because it's the passive. Sareru. She was kidnapped. Okay, in this case, so she was kidnapped. To kidnap is yukai suru, but to be, I guess we should put to be kidnapped, because this is clear. Yes, and another similar word, which is rachi suru, or rachi sareru. I was giving you the 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 dictionary form, but it's actually sareru, sareru, okay? And it's to be abducted, yes. Now, there is a slight legal difference in English as well, but in Japanese, uh, generally speaking, when a, per a person kid takes another person, that's called kidnapping. But when the North Koreans take someone, that's called rachi, rachi, or rachi suru, or in this case, passive tense, she was abducted, rachi sareta, or rachi sareru. Uh, when someone is confined or kept uh, in a closed area, you know, when they, you know, when when you when you lock somebody in a room, that's called kankin suru, to confine someone. And of course, now the young lady is in protective uh, custody, and that's hogo suru. So these are the words you might uh, see. There's a there's a great uh, channel that I like called a uh, Tomo News Japan, and they've got a little article. 
Shimei Shime is wanted. Shimei, what is it called? Where is it? Shimei Tehai Chu is a wanted man. And if you're interested in this, to learn how I study, what I do is I, I use, I like tangorin.com. Uh, you just plug it in there. They don't have it. You raise a couple words there. Uh, shi, shimei Tehai. Oh, I, what, what the, oh, Shimei Tehai. Chu is not there. Shimei Tehai, of course, means uh, wanted for the police, wanted by the police. So, Shimei Tehai Chu is presently wanted by the police. That's a good way to study. Uh, with these Toma News, the description has some uh, English, I mean, some notes that you can. あ、ジョスコピーペーストイントゥザディクショナリータンゴリンドットコムアイラクトゥザ。埼玉県朝霞市で2年前。So <笑> In that po picture you just saw the woman um, taking out, that's the mother the, uh, the, in, in the cartoon. The mother is going, is getting a letter from the mailbox and it says, don't look for me and I'm sorry I caused your problems. So uh, I'm, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming he made her write that. So he just, he just um, graduated from Chiba Daigaku. Wow, just graduated from Chiba University. So his, his seminar leader or uh, teacher, you know, whatever, said, oh, he was just a regular guy, just a regular student. Shushokusaki is, he's already, he's already decided where he's going to work, so he found his job. So in Japan, you basically start looking for your job, your job hunting about a year before you graduate, and he already, he'd already gotten that far. ミオヤスムサイは事前に連絡するなど不審な点はなかったということです。しかしその一方で2年近くにわたり千葉市内で女子生徒と暮らしていたとみられています。So I don't understand. And of course, if you're not in that situation, you know, and you're a 13 year old girl, um, I think it would be pretty. Um, yeah, she didn't, I mean, she was, she was scared, right? So don't blame her. So when he was gone, she was able to get away. So somehow she was able to get to a payphone, which is really lucky because there's so few payphones these days. So many payphones are disappearing. So lucky for her, there's still, there was still one there. So he, he just ran away like a hundred uh, kilometers away from the scene of the crime and he got a cutter knife and he just tried to commit suicide. But, you know, he's a pussy. Um, he, he, he tried to commit suicide. And, so uh, a newspaper delivery man saw him walking around with chidarake. Chidarake is what the way... Chi is blood. Darake means... Completely covered, so she she no toko. She found a uh, guy covered in blood. No toko ga arute iru to tsuho. Kaketsuketa. And tsuho means co uh, co contact the police. Tsuho. The kaisatsukan ga otoko o mitsuke, shoji shite ita menkyo shou kara shimei tehai chu no otoko to kakunin, migara o. So they said, the cops, as you can see, found him and said, uh, let's see some identification, and they realized that that's the wanted man. So for treatment, he's been admitted to a hospital, and that's basically it. Um, and of course, they arrested him. So that's the story. I'll leave links in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. I'll leave these notes as well. These are the big ones. Uh, the one I, I didn't have here is Chidarake, which means covered in blood. So, yeah, horrible story, but you know, this kind of stuff happens all over the world. Uh, a lot of people like to think, oh, Japan's so weird, it's full of, you know, nuts like this. It's not. The whole world is full of nuts like this, unfortunately. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Good night. Give me a break, man. Give him a break because he sure deserves one. And when he's back from his break, you'll see his